There is a place surrounded in mystery. But I'm not a security expert, so I kind of go with it, you know? But they're not going to let you see these things. When it comes to security, the less you know, the better. And even some of the most harmless things, or seemingly harmless things, could, you know, ultimately be problematic. Where secrecy and security are intertwined. A place only 50 miles from one of the most populated cities in America. This place is Indian Point. Located just 35 miles north of New York City, Indian Point Nuclear Plant can be found in the small town of Buchanan. It's almost invisible at first, cloaked by trees and a nearby baseball field. But the 10-foot high barbed wire fences and a security guard in a booth denote that something more may be present. During 9-11, a plane headed towards the World Trade Center came dangerously close to the nuclear plant. It was also discovered that terrorists had considered targeting nuclear plants during their attack. This caused a whirlwind of security updates and scrutiny. Unfortunately, there have also been lapses in security. In 2002, a security guard was found sleeping on the job during his 12-hour shift. A few years later, another guard was found sleeping on duty. The nuclear plant is required to conduct a full-scale force-on-force drill once every three years, a change from the once every eight years before 9-11. An adversary force from outside the plant attempts to penetrate the plant's vital area and damage or destroy key safety components. Armed with laser guns, modified weapons that fire only blanks, and laser sensors to indicate hits, the plant's security attempts to defend against an outside attack. In a perfect world, this practice would be enough to ensure a smooth defense against any real attack. But let's face it, reality isn't always perfect. Action! Combat. The lives of thousands hang in the balance. Your mission? To defend. Indian Point. Okay guys, uh, these eggs have given us a lot of trouble in the past. Uh, does anybody need anything off this guy or can we bypass him? Uh, I think Leroy needs something from this guy. Oh, do he, he needs those devout shoulders? Doesn't, isn't he a paladin? Yeah, but that'll help him heal better. He'll have more mana. Christ. Okay, uh, well what we'll do... I'll run in first, uh, gather up all the eggs so we can kind of just, you know, blast them all down with AOE. Um, I will use Intimidating Shout to kind of scatter them so we don't have to fight a whole bunch of them at once. Uh, when my shout's done, uh, I'll need Anthony to come in and drop his shout too uh, so we can keep them scattered and not to fight too many. Um, when his is done, Bass, of course, will need to run in and do the same thing. 
uh, we're giving you divine intervention on our mages, uh, so they can uh, AE, uh, so we can, of course, get them down fast, because we're bringing all these guys. I mean, we'll be in trouble if we don't take them down quick. Uh, I think it's a pretty good plan. We should be able to pull it off this time. Uh, oh, ready, guys? Let's or? do this. Leroy Dragons! Oh, my God, he just ran in. Back up a bit. What would this really look like? It's unlikely that such an event would occur, but that doesn't mean that the plant shouldn't be prepared. A successful attack that resulted in a major release of nuclear material would require an evacuation of the surrounding area. Unfortunately, the surrounding area is highly populated, and if a full-scale evacuation were to occur, it's unlikely that the roads would be able to support it. Although proponents of the plant assured the public that it's difficult to cause a release of nuclear material, it might be easier than expected. Recent leaks in nuclear material show the decline of aging infrastructure. Indian Point is also unable to defend against an aerial attack. Of course, it shouldn't be expected of a building to be completely secure against a plane. That being said, it points to the necessary redressing of the evacuation plan. Is Indian Point ready for an attack? You decide. 